Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Star vs. the Forces of Evil review. In this episode, we got two episodes, like always, Frenemies and Is Mystery. Let's just get right into it. No prelude, nothing like that, let's just do it. So Frenemies starts off, Marco's trying to get uh, tickets to a Mackie Hand concert, or not concert, movie marathon, which is kind of like the show's take on Jackie Chan, and then Tom shows up. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, because he invites Marco to go to the movies with him because he got tickets and I was like yes yes because after they had that whole bonding sequence at the end of Mr. Candle's Cares I was actually really excited for this 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 has so much potential even if they end up hating each other so yeah Marco reluctantly agrees to go and right he shows off this carriage which is much bigger on the inside it's got all these things a bunch of flat screen TVs a bunch of what else Just a bunch, like, they have all this cereal, right? And it's just kind of, oh, let's hang out for a while on our way to the movie marathon, right? And they're kind, they're just kind of hanging out. Marco kind of doubts Tom's love for Mackie Han, but of course he proves himself. And then they get into, then they come across these guys in like a car who are, and they basically challenge them to a race. And oh my God, it's funny as hell because they go driving off and get pulled over by the cops and they just walk on pie like perfect little angels. Oh my God, that was funny as hell. And then they start, because they... They have the same taste in music. Some, I don't know, love struck band or some crap like that. I don't know. But yeah, they bond over their taste of music. They do a montage, right, of them hanging out with a white tiger. And the lyrics are very specific to their situation. Like, stupid specific, if you know what I mean. And right, they've been hanging out for a few hours. And Marco goes to leave to head out to the movie marathon. And the door locks on him. And Tom says, wait, he can't go yet. Just wait for like a few more minutes because he was basically taking like an anger management test to pass the class and all they had to do was hang out for like four hours the thing is though if they had just gone to the movies how would that have been a problem marco they could have just left and started the movies unless of course tom like they say didn't want to see it but eh, he could have walked out you know right all they had to do was go it wasn't that hard he could have probably passed it because there was no rule that i don't think there was a rule that said he couldn't leave the carriage tom just didn't have to get angry and hang out with his worst enemy And yeah, it's revealed that their worst enemy, right, that Tom hates him, right, because again, star, rivalry, whatnot, she always does what she wanted. And right, they have a little duet thing, it's, it's, it's nice. And again, it's to another love handle song or whatever. And then Tom brings Mackie Hand back from the dead, which is pretty creepy, if you know what I mean. And Mackie Hand beats up a bunch of security guards outside his movie premiere, and they just kind of sit there and they're like, I hate you. I hate you too. Frenemies. It, it, I like this one, okay? It, it 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 has its high points and it has its low points. But overall, I thought it was pretty good. And there's a second episode. You know, I've realized ever since we went on hiatus for a while and then we come back and I've realized we've kind of established a pattern. Every other episode is good. You'll get a really good episode and then a bad one. Okay to bad one. Like ep- an episode like Girls Day Out was okay while Goblin Dogs was just ugh. And this one is, again, it's more on that meh to okay scale than it is bad. But yeah, so, and that's just because it's a Buff Frog episode. I really like Buff Frog. He's got, he's got a lot of great lines even this one. So Buff Frog's investigating the hole in the human cornfield, right? When he gets attacked by this meat hook or meat, whatever, this guy with a hook hand right with like a a fork meat fork maybe you guys know i'm bad with names and he basically gets enslaved to push on this wheel insert conan the barbarian joke here it's obvious so buff frog he he basically finds out there's a boss right that a boss is running this thing and he wants to find out who it is or what they're doing so he picks the lock with his well he tries to get the keys and fails and then picks the lock with his tongue and he goes he finds out they're they've built their own cornfield from what it sounds like but and he right he goes up he finds finds out this and then he falls back down another hole and finds they're they're turning all the corn into cornmeal and they make this corn version of the Mumin castle which they destroy for some weird reason and the hot dog guy shows up and is like, oh, they go to fight. And he's just like, oh, take me with you. Let's escape. And so they try to escape. And then he gets blasted by Ludo. Ludo shows up and is like, hey, remember? Hey, it sounds like you want me to die. Yeah. Ugh, God, Ludo. Ludo was just not enjoyable. I He was great in the first season as kind of your stupid comic relief villain. In this one, he's just not. And basically, he ends up offering Buffrob 
Frog back his old job at, and the job as the foreman, right, to oversee everything. But he turns it down because he thinks Ludo's gone insane because he's talking to the wand. And then he gets back to the camp. He's with his babies and the fly and is like, I need to warn Star about this. And that's where it ends. And I do like that ending. The I need to warn Star is a pretty great because, again, Buff Frog has this whole this whole idea of humans and monsters getting along is so great. And Buff Frog represents that leak. And that's what I really like. But yeah, it, it was just, uh, it had a moment or two, because it is a Buff Frog episode. But everything else was just kind of meh, if you know what I mean. If a little, like the fork guy was never funny, not once. But yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, peace. <laughs>